I'm Jennifer Hotelling and this is Cadence, my daughter. We were trying to find something um, to do with this giant unicorn stuffy. Cadence has had it for a very long time. Uh, we thought we could take it to the thrift store, but uh, it turns out if you have a stuffy for, you know, six or seven years, it's probably not going to go anywhere besides the landfill. So we decided to dissect the unicorn. Um, take out all the fuzz, right? And make pillows with it. So we took the fuzz and put it in this, um, like, it's like... Packaging material. Packaging material for a package that we got in the mail. And we put some, and we sewed it. So it was like a pillow form and then put some of the... Um, caught in stuff in it, and then once we had it filled up, we sewed it up and put um, a material on it. And the materials came from old blankets or old clothes that we had before that were also going to go uh, somewhere and maybe or maybe not be re reused somewhere else. So we thought we could reuse them here. Uh, this is an old shirt that a part of an old shirt that I used to have, and um, so we decided to make these nice little pillows, new pillows, out of the old uh, poor unicorn that did serve us for a long time. And I also made this pillow, which is crocheted out of um, old wool from uh, thrift stores, and I stuffed this pillow with cattail fuzz. So if you wait, the cattails come and they start getting fuzzy and really fuzzy and falling apart, usually in the spring after the winter. And you can actually use that for stuffing. So it makes kind of a, a denser pillow. So we also did that. This is another recycling project we did. And we took beads that um, my mom's friend at the market gave me, um, to reuse, and we decided to put them on an old piece of plywood that we wouldn't use, and we're gonna put grow and glue them down, and it's gonna be like a tabletop or just a mandala on the wall or something, and, um... And there's lots of ways that you can recycle different things. Um, I, I think these actually came out of a fish tank maybe. Um, so there's all kinds of things, especially in thrift stores. You can find all kinds of bags of things that you can reuse in different ways. And people have started businesses doing that kind of stuff. And it's really a good idea because we have a lot of waste in our society and we need to find ways to reuse it and also to fix things instead of throwing them out. So um, another thing that we did, we got an espresso machine from somebody that had a leak in it and we put water in it and we are going to seal it and then we'll be able to use the espresso machine when somebody was just gonna throw it out. So um, what other ways do we recycle? Oh, we feed our chickens a lot of our compost scraps. I feel like that's a good recycling. We definitely um, do clothing swaps with friends. We swap clothing instead of buying new clothing. And we like to shop at thrift stores because then we're kind of recycling clothing too. And um, I have one. We, the dogs, our puppies, um, we give them like, we found pine cones and we gave them to them for toys and they really love them. And like, just stuff that we got at the market and it's using a lot of the old stuff that we were just going to throw away and they really play with it a lot and like they, the, and plastic bottles they'll play with and that's like their favorite toy because of the sound that it makes. So recycling and reusing is really important. 